Hey racers, John Racer 3 here today and I am back for a Hot Wheels case unboxing. I just got my D and E cases in the mail so I'm super excited to start opening them. First off we have the D case here. I'm super excited. There are some cars in here that I've seen in stores but I didn't want to buy just because I knew I'd be getting the case that I'm really excited for. So let's get started. First off, some bent cards there. That is... That is a big bummer, but let's go ahead and take over the cars. I will not be um, going over duplicates, so just keep that in mind like the Dodge D100. Kurt King of the Hill, duplicate, but we have the new Porsche 918 Spider, and this thing looks amazing in black. I love how they're releasing hyper cars in more colors. I appreciate it, Hot Wheels. Thank you very much. Next up, we have Bubble Matic. Pretty cool. Looks like it blows bubbles if you got the bubble fluid. That's pretty neat. Next up, we have the Dodge Charger 500 in black. This thing looks amazing. It says it's best for track. That's pretty neat. That's awesome. And then we have the main line. For the case, we have the Twin Mill. And as you can see, it says Treasure Hunt on there. But wait. I don't think this thing has rubber wheels. Is this... Is this an air? Or is this just a regular treasure hunt? Because I'm pretty sure this was a super treasure hunt. It's got the logo on the top. I guess we'll have to have to get back to that. Anyway, I should have looked in. I'm pretty sure it was a super treasure hunt though. Huh. Curious. Next up we got the Volkswagen Golf Mark II and the Chevrolet Wagon. Those are some cars from the previous case. So with these got the Vengeance and Electrac. Neat. Oh, we got some Ducatis. Don't know what I'm ever going to do with those, but we have a new Honda City Turbo 2 in baby blue. I love the City Turbo. I think it'd be super funny just to get a video with a whole bunch of them and do all that fun stuff. You know, just an army of mini cars. I think that'd be pretty funny. We have a Nissan Fairlady Z from previous case, and then we have the 2016 Camaro SS in the Borea paint. It looks like the little matte. I believe the Mustang that came out had a glossy paint with the same uh, livery on it, but I mean, it'll be cool to see both of those cars right next to each other. Next up, we have the Volkswagen T2 pickup. I must have stand corrected. I thought the twin mill was the super. I was incorrect. It is this Volkswagen pickup here looking very fancy and then we have the surf and turf in purple i think that looks pretty cool that would be a funny car to go to see go down the track that is for sure next up we got two justice league batmobiles that we've seen before but then we have a dodge charger stock car i love it as you guys know dodge is no longer in nascar but seeing stock cars released in hot wheels is pretty cool and we got a mopar livery on there so that is some neat stuff. Next up, Mustang Funny Car, Hollinator, some cars we've already seen before. Along with these guys, we've got some Corvette Roadsters and Wheelie Chair, all cars from the previous case. Then we've got a Kick Cart and a Moto Wing. These are some weird, pretty weird uh, cars here. For the Kick Cart, you can put a Lego figure in there and attach them to the side of the car so if you're into that that is for you then we have another main line of the Volkswagen pickup and then we have Crescendo which was a car from the previous case all right boys next layer let's go here we go we got some cars from the previous case we got the Volkswagen Beetle and the Gumobile all right next up we got two track man mangas Manga, however you want to pronounce it, in pink. I mean, it comes across on camera a little more pink than it is, but that's still pretty cool. And then we have a Indy 500 oval car in green. They haven't released this thing in a while, and the last I think the last time they released this it was a Super Treasure Hunt. So I like it. I have the Super Treasure Hunt, and it's very cool. Next up, we got Tanner Fox's Guaxzilla. We got two more of those. But the car that we're looking for is the new Jeepster Commando. This is a new for 2019 model. This thing looks absolutely amazing. Got a motorcycle on the back there. This thing looks crazy. Those wheels are going to make a lot of noise going down the six lane, but it looks cool, so it makes up for it. All right. Next up, we got another Jeep. 
We've got a Camaro SS uh, Police. That looks pretty cool. Awesome to see more police cars in the Hot Wheels line. And then we have a Datsun 510. Everyone's been going crazy for this car because it has the Momo paint on it. I think it looks pretty cool. Not much of an old Datsun 510 fan, but I will appreciate the art. Here's one of the cars that I was super excited for in the case. It is Octane from Rocket League. This thing is sick. I play a lot of Rocket League, as you guys know, and I'm super excited to see how this goes down the track along with the Rocket League 5 pack that they just recently added. And then we have a custom Ford Maverick in red, weed color. I like it because it looks like it has a wide body and it's a pretty neat car. So that is pretty cool. Next up we have Muscle Bound and then a Motosaurus. No one cares about the Motosaurus, but this thing looks insane. This is a fantasy car that looks exactly like a real muscle car. And I think this might be one of my favorite cars to be released in Hot Wheels this year. I just love the commando paint on it with the camo. It looks amazing, and I'm excited to open that one up. Next up, we got some cars from the last case. We got the CRX and the Fastback. Go ahead and put those over there. Let's grab these cars that have fallen to the bottom of the box. Ooh, we got three nice ones here. We got the Mercedes AMG GT3 in yellow. This thing is exciting. It is very, very good looking in yellow. I was super excited to get this car. It looks amazing. We got a Corvette C7Z06 convertible in red. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And we got T-Rex Destroyer in silver. Nice, cool stuff, cool stuff. Next up, we got some more little red Dodge Express trucks from the last case, but then we have a Silverado Trail Boss LT in blue. I doubt this thing will fit on the track, but hey, if you're into trucks, that can be your thing. We're getting to the end of the case. We got Rising Heat, which is a new, is this a new model? It is not. It says special feature, which means it has a splitter that lifts up on the front. That's pretty neat. And then we have another Motosaurus. Well, let's be honest here. I don't think anyone likes the Motosaurus unless you're maybe 12. And if you are, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, next up, we got the Chevy Nova in gold. That was a duplicate from the previous case. We have Dune Daddy. This is so cool. I didn't know this was coming out. I really like the color on it. It's a nice little buggy. Buggies have proved to be pretty quick on the six lane. So, hey, if you choose this next week, you might have a good chance. And then the final three cars of the case. We have the Porsche Panamera Police. This thing looks awesome. I love the Panamera in red. It looks really good. We have a Cadillac ATS VR coming out in white. I don't know why the Mercedes and the Cadillac come out in the same case in different colors every time they've come out. I believe both the Mercedes and this Cadillac, this has been the third recolor. And I like them all. So, hey, I'm not complaining. But, uh, yeah, that is the... That's the case unboxing. Sorry, I freaked out about the twin mill. I thought it was a super, and I was like, wow, the Malaysian people actually didn't take the super out of my case. So that's pretty cool. Uh, awesome. We got some treasure hunts. We got pretty much everything. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for next week where you can decide your ride and hopefully get a shout out at the end of the video of the tournament. So I'll see you guys next week. Take it easy. Peace. Here's something I found out when I was just sorting the cars as a little side note. This Porsche has its blister on upside down. Huh. See something new every day. I should really examine my cars a little more when I put them back on the ground. This special Little Red Express truck has a very, very bad air. As you can see, it's pretty much coming apart. They messed up with the rivet on the bottom. Wow. Two errors in this case. Not that's okay by me because I do enjoy collecting errors, but wow, that's two. All right, see ya.